My name is Edward Kim, and I'm an anthropology major here, and I'm from Bel Air, Maryland. The first thing I did when I got here in terms of the arts was I went to the music department's open house during freshman orientation and um, met a few of the professors, but I mostly went there to uh, see some other people that were interested in music and um, sign up for lessons and sign up for auditions and that kind of thing. And it turns out there's a lot of different ensembles here that I didn't think might have been here, and there are very varying different levels of um, ensembles. Um, and it was one of those things where I realized, you know, like so many other aspects of Dartmouth, if you want to do something, you can do it. Um, even though it is a pretty small campus, I realized that there were different outlets for uh, artistic and creative expression that um, were far from mainstream. And of course, I was going for a bit more mainstream. I was going for the symphony orchestra and piano lessons, which is, you know, pretty, pretty mainstream, but there are lots of different, um, you know, ethnic musics and stuff like that around here that I didn't really expect to find because it is such a small campus. Because there, there are more faculty available, I feel like I get more attention um, from the faculty members. And because it is kind of a close-knit community, kind of everyone in the music department knows about everyone else. So, um, you know, I'm pretty close with, you know, Anthony Franciotti, who's the conductor, who's also the violin teacher, as well as Marsha Cassidy. She's the viola instructor here. Um, and they also know I play piano, so even if I don't take violin or viola lessons with them, they'll ask me to accompany them, their students, you know, for the end of term recital on the piano or something like that. So it's just, I really enjoy the interaction that comes with being such a, a close-knit community um, and the kind of support that we receive be from, from professors and from each other because we're so close-knit. Most of the members of the symphony orchestra are not music majors, and they're kind of, if you are a music major, then you're kind of the minority. Um, and I think it happens at any kind of top tier school where uh, people don't necessarily go there to study the arts, but because they're so heavily invested in it and because they love it so much, they continue with it. Um, at the same time, exploring other, you know, other departments and other uh, disciplines that you know, may pique their interests a bit more and may, uh, that they may be more pulled towards as a profession. Um, but I, I don't, but you know, I don't think that it precludes artistic expression as, you know, something that you can't do because you're involved in a department or something like that. There is a lot of academic pressure, sure, but in terms of, you know, obtaining a certain GPA and maintaining that GPA, to me that's not as important as just being a well-rounded person, which I think is kind of the core of liberal arts education anyway. Um, and that's one of the reasons I came here. So for me, I, like, it's totally worth, you know, getting a grade that I, uh, maybe lower than I expected. Um, in order to keep up with the, with my arts and the music, it's um, in the long run in my life, it's gonna be much more important that I did that than the fact that I got an A or a citation or something. Most of the music people I know at Dartmouth are, you know, they're involved in classical music, Western classical music. Um, and despite that kind of, you know, normal, you know, interest in Western classical music, they just, they're very, very different. The majors that they, they major in are very different. The classes they take and the career aspirations they have are very different from each other. It's never boring to figure out, you know, to ask someone, what are you majoring in? Because it's, it's always something that's pretty fascinating. Um, and I think the music department and the music uh, professors know this, and they're quite genuinely, genuinely interested in uh, what you're interested in.